NFL legend just issued death blow to Colin Kaepernick after he sued the league for not hiring him. What to do about Colin Kaepernick? That's the question on the minds of many football executives in the United States today because the controversial player has stirred up such a stink, and he's not going to be soon forgotten. To be perfectly honest, from a purely PR perspective, the day Kaepernick knelt for the national anthem was the day he endowed his career with brilliance because from that day forward we have not stopped mulling over what to do about Colin Kaepernick. While the obvious answer to that question is the one that the 49ers were contemplating when Kaepernick chose to be a free agent, fire the unproductive player. The Social Justice Warriors League of America seems to have gotten together and decided that he is their mascot and must therefore be protected at all costs. The third-string backup quarterback who according to his own coach was fired because he couldn't play in the pocket, now has a toehold to say his firing was illegal. And all because he knelt. That's a story we're all too familiar with. What we're not very familiar with until now is other football players calling Kaepernick out on his crap. But that's just what NFL legend Warren Moon did in a recent interview. According to the conservative Daily Post, Moon thinks that Kaepernick doesn't actually want to play in the NFL, otherwise, he would have played his cards very differently. To him, the fact that he is a lackluster player is not why he isn't playing because he cannot be that real with himself. Instead, he stretches the truth and implies that he is out of the league for other reasons which is 100% untrue. Football legend Warren Moon chimed in and observed, if he was gonna file a lawsuit, he maybe should have waited till this season was over if he did want to play this year because it was almost like, does he really want to play if he's gonna go and sue the league and then also try to get signed by a football team? The two just don't seem to mix. Most of us probably do assume that there is some nuance here that we're missing, maybe since we've never experienced the NFL. We don't really understand what it's like to be in Kaepernick's cleats. We do, however, know what it's like to give respect to whom respect is due, and it's a trait that we require of anyone who plans to make the big bucks playing a game that people play for free all the time. The disgraced kneeler is suing because he falsely claims that the league is colluding against him, when in fact, he just isn't good enough to earn a uniform. Somehow, suing the prospective employer is the best way to get one's job back. At least if one is Kaepernick. It is so sad to see him unable to accept the truth about his talent, or lack thereof. If he had not race baited in a bunch of unhappy protesters who feel that detestable people like me how Brown did not deserve shot after robbing a store and charging a cop, no one would even know who he was. He would be recalled as that one quarterback, what's his name with the dumb hair. The fact that not one person on his side, no matter how much they liked sports, can name any of his stats is proof of his inadequacy on the field. For that matter, he is a person whom many loathe and his jersey is even used as a doormat. As it stands, that seems like an insult to doormats. There are a million reasons why a player could be cut from a team, not the least of which is his disrespect to someone that the coach or the owner requires that he show respect to. As much as we would all like to believe that Kaepernick isn't playing in the NFL this season because he was disrespectful to the flag and the national anthem, the more logical answer seems to be that he's not playing because he's not a great player, and all of this is fluff, meant to distract us from a washed-up has-been whose only accomplishment in life is to single-handedly bring down a once-beloved institution named the National Football League. R.I.P.